Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show how I turn a sketch on the left to a vector art on the right in Adobe Illustrator. Drag and drop the sketch into Illustrator, scale it to a good size, and set the opacity to 50%. I also like to rename and lock the layer immediately so that I don't move it by mistake. Create a new layer and start from a circle. In my sketch, I have solid line on the bottom part and dots on the top part of the circle. So what I normally do is I draw a horizontal line to separate the circle, then select both of them and use the pathfinder tool to split them into small pieces. They become transparent because they lost the color for the outline, but you can still select them and delete all the unnecessary pieces. So now I end up with two curves that looks like a full circle. Now the bottom part looks good, let's work it on the top part. Go to Stroke Panel and then check the Dash the Line checkbox. Over there, we can edit how long does each dash and gap going to be. In our case, we want to have 1 pixel for the dash and then 20 pixel for the gap. We also need to choose the Round option for Corner and Cap on the top so that we can make the 1 pixel dash look like a circle. The dash line tool is very powerful and we can do a lot of creativity things over there. Now the circle looks good and let's start a new layer to work on trees. Hold the shift key and draw a long vertical line as trunk, then a short horizontal line as a branch. Use a line tool to make them centered. Press plus on the keyboard, then click the middle of the horizontal line to add an anchor there. I use Transform tool to move the branch to 25 pixel lower, then use Ctrl D to repeat the previous behavior. Copy the tree to make another smaller one. I don't like the branches live so close with each other. I like to use Align tool to rearrange them. Then we make all the trees in the same way. Then we draw two curves quickly for the river with brush tool or pen tool. Rename this layer and start a new one for tent. Use Polygon tool and press down on your keyboard for three times. Now I end up with a triangle as the front face of the tent. Duplicate the triangle, switch the outline color and filling color, and scale it to make the door. Use the rectangle tool to make the body of the tent. I use brush tool to draw fire and smoke. I personally prefer this way because I found the result looks more natural. Create a new layer for the mountain and the sky. I'm using pen tool here because I want to have hard and straight line for mountain. Also going to add some curve on the top so it match with other elements. Star tool is similar with the polygon tool. You can press up or down key on your keyboard to edit the shape. I use a smaller circle to cut a bigger circle with Pathfinder 2 to make the moon shape. At this point, all the main parts are finished. I just need to add some decoration lines for the river and mountain 
also under the tent. I like to use eraser tool to make some gap in the shadow. I just personally feel that looks better. Add a little bit more detail for the tent and also the fire. Now I'm happy with how it looks and I like to copy everything and then convert them into shape so that they all scalable. I also like to put several copies side by side and try different color scenarios. Thanks for watching.